This weekend also saw Pete Buttigieg step down, and here's what he had to say to his supporters. After a year of going everywhere, meeting everyone, defying every expectation, seeking every vote, the truth is that the path has narrowed to a close. So we must recognize that at this point in the race, the best way to keep faith with those goals and ideals is to step aside and help bring our party and our country together. He's a classy kid. He's a classy man. Yeah. Classy, yeah. realistic, and look, I. His run has been historical. Mm -hmm. He yes. broke glass ceilings. He made it easier for LGBTQ people to live their truth, mm -hmm. showed that, uh, that you can, you know, be gay, be who you are, and still run for president and run for big things and not have to hide your identity. And when he had to take one for the team, he did. Mm -hmm. I, there was also, we have a clip, I think, from what his husband, Chaston, said. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was beautiful and significant. So can we take a look at that? After falling in love with Pete, Pete got me to believe in myself again. And I told Pete to run because I knew there were other kids sitting out there in this country who needed to believe in themselves too. And I am so proud that the same person you saw on the debate stage, the same person you saw at a town hall, is the same person that comes home to me every night. It, was, it seems a long time ago, but it was just the Supreme Court decision making gay marriage legal was just five years That's ago. That's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And now you've got this committed, gay, loving yeah. couple supporting each other through a presidential run. Hallelujah. Yeah. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. And I, I just think he's so brilliant, um, uh, Pete, and, um, you know, just uh, so reasonable and, and decent. I like the word that you use about Joe Biden, decent. I, I do wonder, um, who else is going to drop out now? Because, Whoopi, you said he took one for the team. He wanted to consolidate that vote. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't want to be blamed for Bernie And either. for Bernie. And you think about it, you know, Klobuchar now polling with, with black voters, I think it's less than 1%. Nationally, you've got people like Elizabeth uh, Warren, who, uh, you know, again, I think she was doing well. Her polling now is, I think, uh, it's not great. It's five percent. Um, is it time for other people now to take one for the team, consolidate that vote, and get behind someone else? I'm not I'm mad not at Klobuchar sure. staying in the race because she could likely win Minnesota, which means that Bernie won't. Well, I don't so, know. She tried to have a um, rally at Minnesota, uh -huh. and and a she's bunch of black very, folks pulling ahead of him right now. You know, yeah. shut it down. Yeah. But she's pulling ahead of him right but now. She can't, she can't win right. the black Look, vote. Look, if it's her, or Bernie, I choose her. Um, I will say yeah. that. Uh, thank you. Yeah. I will say that this is a total referendum on Iowa mm -hmm. for Mayor Pete dropping out this early because mm -hmm. traditionally the Iowa caucus should have given you this huge boost. Yeah. going forward and for him to drop out again doing not poorly I think he came in third in South Carolina mm -hmm. fourth um, it, it really is a referendum on it should the Iowa caucus even exist anymore I'm for putting it out to pasture at this point you screwed it up you kind of screwed it up for the momentum for him let's like be done with it he has a huge political future in front of him yes. the first thing yeah. I thought last yes. night is did he trade something with any campaign is he going yeah. to be a new Secretary of Defense under a Possible Biden presidency. Yeah. Secretary I have absolutely of State. No Secretary of State, anything. Ambassador to the just, UN. Uh, he speaks like 10, 15 languages. Uh -huh. I mean, it's like, where. So I think he has like a huge Imagine having somebody of him qualified. Yeah. <laughs> there's also, there's an audio going out. I mean, there's an, there's an audio going around on Twitter of him accidentally calling the wrong number for the Biden campaign. I don't oh. know if it's real or not. It sounds real. So we'll see if uh, it ends up, who he ends up endorsing, I think will be indicative of where his head's My at. My understanding is that they did have a phone call. He mm -hmm. spoke with, the, uh, with either Biden or the Biden campaign. They can tell me in my ear if I'm correct. Uh, we don't know what they spoke about, but they did speak. He's very anti-Bernie. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, he had is. very talented they traded people working on his campaign. They took an unknown 38-year-old mayor of South Bend, Indiana, and, and taught us all how to pronounce his name. Yeah. yeah. And, and I hope, I hope uh, Joe Biden picks up some of those very talented pro uh, political professionals from his digital team, from his communications yeah. team, because, because they, I mean, it was, it was a magical campaign. Well, I think, you know, listen, I, I met Pete through uh, uh, Mayor, Which oh one? my God. Who was running? Who was running? Bloomberg. For Bloomberg. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's memorable. <laughs> um, my, you know, 
so it's much Monday. goes out of my brain. <laughs> um, but what I really liked about him was that he was interested in what could be done better. Mm -hmm. And I guess for me, what whoever is running, I always want to feel like they're running for the heart of the country and not the heart of the party. Yeah. So wherever we end up, feet should be held to the fire mm -hmm. so that the people are actually getting more bang for their buck yeah. than we've gotten in the last several years. Because people kept saying, well, maybe something will change. Well, nothing changed. Yeah. It, 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 it is what it is. That's why I can't call him by name. You know, something else you know? he did, which, um, which, 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 which we don't see enough, he talked about faith very openly yes, he and he was very good about not he was very good about aggregating not mm -hmm. antagonizing yes the way he was getting ahead was not by dividing people into group mm -hmm. and having there be class warfare or religious warfare or race warfare it was about bringing people together and that's what biden wants to do right yeah. i wonder you know steyer's out of the campaign now uh i don't know if everybody <laughs> saw his dance on... i can't handle that video <laughs> that the I'm dance, sorry. The dance video i didn't I, hate it i hated it i didn't hate it i hated it <laughs> I think he's with Genuine, I think, and they're playing the song. I didn't hate it. No, they're playing the song. I saw a little rhythm. No, I'm sorry. They're playing the song Back That Ass Up right yeah. there. And in the Me Too culture, I mean, I hope he got paid a lot of money to sing that song yeah. with him. That's, that's... Is that how you think you win voters? Yeah. Is, well, I'm serious. What, what is he going like, to do with his money? Well, he's got some free time and he's got money. He could take dance classes. He's got, well, <laughs> but he's got some money.